More news now from your part of the region, beginning with a strong message. Businesses in the east of England can help the UK export its way out of recession. That's the view of speakers at a conference in Newmarket aimed at helping companies expand into worldwide markets. Andrea Johnson has this report. Those who export are 30% more likely to survive a recession than those that don't. The words of former Trade and Industry Minister Lord Digby Jones, who was the keynote speaker at today's Global Opportunity Conference in Newmarket. Right now, because the only way this great nation of ours is going to get out of this economic mess is trade its way out of it. And that means generate the dosh, pay the tax and sort it out. Listening to that message was Simon Purchase from the Cambridge-based clothing company Supreme Being. It started when four creative friends decided they could make a business out of their passion. Over the years, the brand has grown and they now have over a thousand stockists in 20 different countries. Going out to the trade shows, meeting new people, uh, seeing how their retail markets work, how their high streets work and trying to access those markets and get the best out of those areas we can is fantastic. And it's people like Simon that put our region at the cutting edge of business. The East of England exports about £20 billion a year. And the big advantage they have is nearly all of that is what is called value added. In other words, you're using a bit of this. So as the market grows in the world, smaller businesses can compete because it's not about part it high, sell it cheap. It's about niche and using skills. Updates on the social networking site Twitter meant the conference had a worldwide audience. And on it, the news that because of their worldwide exports, a prize had been won. Supreme Being are now officially the East of England's best new exporters. Andrea Johnston, Anglia News. Well done to them. Now, two men arrested after pepper spray was released at a supermarket near Norwich have been released on bail. The Asda store on Drayton High Road in Helsden was evacuated on Tuesday afternoon after a number of customers reported feeling unwell. Ambulance crews treated 28 people at the scene. One person was taken to hospital. Police are appealing for information from anyone who was in the store at the time. Bus drivers for first in Essex have suspended their planned 24-hour strike action for this Monday. The action's been called off following a meeting between first and the drivers' union Unite. It's been agreed that both parties will hold further talks over a pay deal with the assistance of the arbitration service ACAS. Now, forget games, consoles and computers. A group of youngsters in North Essex more likely to be spotted with guitars and a microphone these days. Yes, earlier this year, a rock school was set up in Dovercourt. They've recently performed their first big gig, and thanks to some funding, they'll soon have their very own recording studio. Victoria Webb reports. They come from schools across the tendering area, and they all share a passion. Off goes the uniform. It's time to rock. The rock school was set up in Dovercourt earlier this year. It's gone from strength to strength, allowing children, no matter what their ability, the opportunity to have fun with music, even lending out guitars if they haven't got one of their own. We just have a real like fun lesson, really, but it's not a lesson. It's we just play songs and have fun. We all work together and we're all nice to each other. We can all play what we want and we can have a go at everything. The Rock School was originally based in a village hall, buying equipment off eBay. But as student numbers grew, the local council found them a bigger building. I'm surprised how great the kids are. Um, I'm surprised that we've had so much interest, particularly from sort of like 10 to 12 year olds who all seem to want to be rock stars. And um, yeah, we've had over you know, 50 or 60 kids involved at the moment and in the summer we ran workshops where we had about another 50 kids come along. The children are taught by professional rock musicians. Unlike at school, here attitude is encouraged and they start young. Sam on drums is just eight years old. As well as the four rooms they have here for everyone to play in, thanks to nearly £7,000 of funding from Essex County Council, this room will soon become a recording studio. So the children will learn how to use different software and put what they do on the internet to encourage more youngsters to join. 
After playing their first gig last month, the Rock School students hope to have a mobile stage for next summer, allowing them to perform to a wider audience. Victoria Webb, Angley News, Dover Court. Oh, fantastic. Well, we saw them here yeah. first. Brilliant initiative. Brilliant.